How's it everybody and welcome to another episode of Simply Overlanding. I'm standing on top of this beautiful pass overlooking this breathtaking valley below and today we're going to one of my favorite campsites in the Western Cape. I haven't been here in the last seven years so I hope that it is going to be just as spectacular as it was seven years ago. We hope that you enjoy this episode. Check it out. So we rocked up about an hour and a half ago. We've pitched our tent over here. Beautiful campsite. My buddies keep trying to make me laugh all the time. You can go check out their channel for this life. I'll put their link in the description Lucky below. Be yeah, like it, man. Awesome. Well, it's we've pitched, pitched our tent here. We in the in the foot of uh, the Cedarberg. You can start seeing the Cedarberg Mountains behind us starting to take shape and it's becoming that beautiful golden color. To mention, it's my dad's uh, 55th uh, birthday and we're here as a family celebrating his birthday. This is my little brother, he's a character, you'll see him later on in the video. This is my big brother, you'll see him throughout the video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, completely different video this time. But um, yeah, we hope to take you along this adventure and uh, we hope that you enjoy it just as much as we do. Hello! Um, this is the wonderful rocky river of the raccoons. I am William Reeves bringing you a lack of day at the boss. Um, I wish you the very best in this lovely video and welcome everybody thanks. Welcome to the bush. Saturday morning, just uh, finished taking a lack of a warm shower. I'll show you the ablutions in a minute. And uh, just making a cup of coffee in the jet boil. And we're gonna go down to the waterfall, which is about literally 30 seconds walk uh, from the main accommodation. And uh, today we're just gonna take it easy, swim, swim in the rock pools. And uh, we're also gonna tackle a little four by four trail, which the farm has to offer. Enjoy. Bit of information about the waterfall campsite. So the main accommodation itself under the LARPA sleeps 12 people. It has six double beds. And then also you have this beautiful patch of green green grass right next to the LARPA where you can pitch additional tents for your friends or family, whoever you want to bring with you. This is definitely a group location. You want to come here with a couple of close friends or, or your family members. It has its own private ablutions with uh, warm gas showers as well as flushing toilets.
4x4 route and I've handed over the keys of the patrol to my lovely wife Ozan and uh, I don't know why I don't do this more often the passenger seat is a lot more fun with a drink in your hand but um, yeah looking forward to this little drive we've done it once before it's more of a scenic drive so it's not a vehicle breaker and it takes you through these amazing views within the Cedarburg as you can see from some of the footage the vegetation has overgrown quite a bit since the last time we've been here and as a result if you're not looking for pinstripes on your vehicle we suggest that you don't tackle the trees Heinz also given the keys to his brand new Amarok uh, over to his wife Nikki and uh, they're gonna attempt this uh, little obstacle that we just went up. It's quite, um, quite rocky, a lot of loose rocks with uh, constant momentum needed. Commit a drive, bro. Third time lucky. It's a really deceptive uh, little yield, this. And uh, we've packed a couple of rocks now, so I think the Amarok should make light work of this. After that hill, you get to this little uh, viewing point. Jeez, check my aura, bro. It's like so groot. It's like dance aura. Um, you reach this little viewing point. So, if you don't do the obstacle and you continue, you won't get to see this. But, check out that awesome view. Pretty cool. So Uncle Andrew's in a 2x4 because I thought this is more of a scenic drive. Bit of a blunder on my part, but he's doing exceptionally well, all things considering. My way, my way, yeah. That was good. You up, turn, turn hard. Yeah. Well done. What a drive. Well done. <laughs> After realizing it's not quite a scenic 4x4 route and with a 2x4 in the convoy we decided to head back to the campsite so not to do any unnecessary damage to the vehicle or to the trail itself.
Sunday late morning and I'm still in my PJs. Everybody's packed up. As you can see, the grass patch is completely empty. And uh, we're gonna have a morning breakfast and we're busy buying some roaster crook and some chicken. And we're just gonna have a little lunch here and then uh, head back into civilization, unfortunately. And we're going for the last swim of the weekend. The last swim is always the best swim. So let's go for it and let's enjoy it. hope you enjoyed another one of our episodes. If you did, please consider following us on YouTube, Instagram or Facebook. For more information on this campsite, please read the full description below. If you would like to get in touch with us, please reach out. Our contact details are in the description below. Until then, we look forward to sharing our next adventure with you. Join us next time on Simply Overlanding, where we overland simply. <laughs>